Okay guys, so uh, oil pressure issues on a Cummins ISX-15. So typically you don't see an oil pump just go out. Um, a lot of times it's going to be this little sensor right here. It's located in a very kind of screwed up place because it's got one of those little locking plugs that go on it as well and it's kind of hard to get to. Um, but other than that, this is about 90 bucks or so roughly um, and pretty easy to change out. So this customer here, his gauge was saying zero when obviously the engine, it's, it's got good oil pressure, it's just a sensor. What typically happens with these, and I'll show you the old one in a second, they start leaking and that's a good telltale sign that the sensor is bad and you need to replace it. So I'm going to show you on the truck where it's at and uh, how to change it. Okay, so we're over on the driver's side of the engine. Um, right here behind the fuel filter and the ECM, you'll see I have it unplugged. And uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but you'll notice that plug is all wet with oil. The actual sensor is right in behind that, right back here. So it's kind of hard to see, a little dark. Um, there you can see the sensor back there, see it's all wet. That's a telltale sign that that sensor is bad and needs to be replaced. So that's why you're having your little oil pressure. Um, this plug is a little bit of a challenge because it has that lock on it. Um, the best way to get it is a 90 degree pick and get in there and push that lock forward and then push the locking mechanism forward and push the, uh, the lock out to the back of the truck. And then once you uh, can pop the plug loose, it's uh, relatively pretty easy to get to, put a socket on it and pull it out. So hopefully that solves your problem if you got an oil pressure issue on a Cummins ISX-15. Um, relatively cheap fix, pretty easy to do if you got some simple tools. Uh, and good luck, thanks for watching.